when we look at a robot in three dimensional space no norm robotica we look at its smooth motion but there are multiple things involved in it but what should we focus when we are starting and my opinion is program hi there my name is mohammad lukman and we will be looking into programming part of robotics when we are starting out our learning journey and developing our career in robotics robotics programming is a symphony of physics and dynamics programming in computer science and control system in smoothing in a bigger picture it's understanding about how a robot perceives the environment how the robot makes the decision and then acts upon those decisions smoothly whenever we come to robotics programming we come to the best tool as ros2 not ros1 now as ros2 is a great source of learning researching and developing robots a tool that can save a lot of time and cost before buying the robots you can test a lot of your simulations environments your algorithms a lot of testing can be done once you get to the robot obviously things are different in the simulation and real world you need the tweaking most of the time i have experienced very little tweaking has to be done because of the camera sensor differences and sensor noise specifically the things that you have to deal with we will discuss later the main gap ross as a tool fills is working on robots without having a robot just for testing but there are a lot of companies that are using ross you can find out on their sponsors specifically as nav2 was developed under the research provided by samsung so you can understand everyone is researching using ross and they are integrating their actual real robots with ross2 that is done through ross2 hardware interface and that is on control.ross.org now with this interface you connect your real robot and all its feedbacks and sensors to your simulation then there is a very small gap now the gap then gets filled almost in the simulation and the real world but the real question is still there how can i save my time by not diving a lot into ros2 and just getting the information i need this is a critical question for the people who are starting out let's take a look on this now this is a question a lot of people ask that i am starting in ros do i need to first get my programming to a certain level or i should directly start i recommend to start directly the ros because you need to absorb the structure of ros development and you can improve iteratively upon your programming skill but if you have very great programming skills and you don't understand how the actual ros communication and its packages are working then obviously programming is of no use because you cannot write your own custom things so in a nutshell understanding the ros communication and its structure is the main thing so here the guy says that i'm a final year student so mechatronics so before diving into ros i want to make sure i am on the right track for my mechatronics career now this is a very critical question like everyone no one wants to waste any time and try to make the project complete so someone replied that i would say why not both this is a great answer and i have i think replied the same that you should start with python as it's very easy and people who are not familiar with c++ python is very great to start with then you understand the structure with python and after that you move towards c++ that is more industry oriented so let's summarize it before just starting anything until unless you are very critical at time you should not start to think about how can i save time before learning this so i would recommend you to go openly into ros wiki and look into things hardly a week would be required of 4 to 5 hours a day and you will understand how the basic operations are working given that you are good with one of the programming language c++ or python we have also created a lot of detailed videos about how you can develop for c++ and python and what is the comparison of working with these a lot of detail you can find those videos to be very useful for you so now let's talk about different fields that are involved in robotics specifically i mentioned earlier the physics and dynamics control system and kinematic specifically so these are the things which are in their self proper fields of study in which people spend their whole lives phd's and their researches which are involved in robotics because they are moving machines so they are analyzed with that knowledge and then programming is used to translate that knowledge into action of the robots and this all is done for only one reason to have a robot which can move smoothly in the three dimensional space